We are listening that several migrants did not get the biometric dates, even they paid amount to IMA. What is the significant reason? They did pay amount, now IMA is bound to give them biometric date. Why IMA is not giving them date, even they had paid amount? Technically, what is the procedure, current procedure of IMA? They sent one email and email came into your account like Gmail account. You received email of IMA. IMA will give you 10 days and 10 days uh, in 10 within 10 days you need to pay payment to IMA and payment procedure we already recorded clip in which we told that you how you can pay amount to the IMA. Now you did pay amount to the IMA. Now procedure is that after that I must send you pre schedule email, pre schedule email. Now you can check and you can get the date of appointment and you will get the date of appointment according to biometric desire. And I am a biometric appointment maximum people got by this method. But there are several stories in which many people are claiming that we did not get email. we did not get the biometric appointment and we did pay amount and we had paid amount to the IMA and we are not getting pre-scheduled email and we did not get the uh, biometric appointment and uh, they are asking that what is the procedure that they can get biometric appointment which procedure now they need to wait out because they are waiting since one to two months technically after paying amount within 15 days they must receive a email and that email must consist of pre-scheduled appointment in which they need to select or IMA will select a date of appointment and uh, that biometric date of appointment may be one month, maybe two months. As I told you, you must be completely satisfied. You must get the date. Your first destination, your primary target is getting date of appointment, not changing date of appointment. Some people are changing appointment. Their previous appointment biometric date becoming cancelled. And when previous date cancelled, it means that in that date, you cannot go to IMA. And even they are more late than the previous date therefore as i told you in my last clip i will tell you once again if you are not satisfied from the bio i will i will continue my topic but i'm now i need to clarify this thing if you get your date and you are not satisfied from your date you must not change your date this is my very humble suggestion because when you will change date mean that change you will actually email them you, you will be telling that I may go to IMA office and IMA office I will request. No, no. IMA office you will go. They will straight forward tell you we have online system and you need to send email. That email mean biometric change email. You will put request and that email will consist of a request that I want to change my biometric date. And uh, then you will keep waiting and IMA may reply and IMA may not reply. In most cases, IMA did not reply because IMA is so busy. And I think IMA is also thinking in one angle that if we are giving them date and people are not satisfied, they have no right uh, to come on that date because they are not satisfied from their biometric appointment date. And uh, they, you, they will give your date to other migrants and you will be on waiting list once again. And your date will be pending and you may be late one month two month more so i think this is a really uh, your loss of time your wastage of time and if you are you want earlier appointment or you want delayed appointment i think you must prepare your documents on this spot and if that is little bit delayed appointment i think no problem just wait on because two, by two reasons you will change your biometric appointment you want earlier appointment no problem just wait on hold on one month two months as i told you or you have other reason that you are not able to prepare your documents like PCC or something else and you are thinking that in that date you will not be able to fulfill the requirement of biometric and you will not be able to present yourself in front of IMA officer. In that uh, sense I will tell please don't change biometric appointment. Regarding documents I will give you uh, one point even you will go to biometric office and your date of appointment uh, actually is there you must go in your date of appointment and your documents are not fulfilled I mean your documents are little bit lacking you will request IMA officer and when you will request IMA officer you will straight forward tell that uh, my uh, documents uh, uh, they did not complete my PCC did not complete and I will submit this PCC in limited time IMA will not do anything IMA will say no problem just give us biometric and give us a remaining documents 
and your job contract your taxes if any document you are missing no problem you can submit later on and your process will continue and you will get your trc in due time and within 15 days within 10 days this is your responsibility to submit that document now i will go to the point which i wanted to tell you in this clip why people are not getting biometric appointment even they paid amount reason is that what happened you remember the story some people do not check their gmail account on regular basis email actually ima sent ima will give you time of 10 days from the date of date of the email mean the date at which email was sent you will be given 10 days within 10 days you need to pay the amount the specific amount of the biometric amount to the ima account but if you will not pay or if you will not check gmail and normally it is happening and the people who are delaying you will ask this question and the people who are listening to me you just check the date of uh, email and date of payment if date of email and date of payment within 10 days then then i think this is i'm a mistake but if the date of appointment and date of uh, email is after that after that 10 days mean that you are paying amount after 15 days of receiving of your email then IMA will not entertain your biometric appointment. IMA will keep pending your biometric appointment and your biometric appointment will be given to other my brand. Once again, I will repeat that date of email, for example, you receive 7 August date of email. Now before 10, 10 days, 7, before 17th of August, you have to pay amount to the IMA and you have to tell IMA, you have to send email and uh, that I had paid amount and you need to reply um, IMA uh, within within 10 days. Within 10 days, your payment must be in the account of IMA. And then what happened, your date will be uh, fixed and you will receive within five to 10 days, please schedule email and you will be able to get your biometric appointment. A lot of my brothers, my sisters are claiming that we had paid amount. And I was uh, personally was also confused that if people are paying amount to IMA account, why they are not getting the why they are not getting the biometric appointment why they are not receiving the pre scheduled email and i was also thinking that the most of the people received email pre scheduled email after paying amount but some people did not receive and they were asking again and again they were writing in my youtube channel in my comments so i wanted to investigate when i investigated the reason was that the people who paid amount that was after 10 days Therefore, once again, I will tell you, when you will receive your email, after 10 days, within 10 days, you have to pay amount of IMA. Please don't delay in paying amount to the IMA. You are understanding now. Very uh, minor point I have explained in a very simple, simple way. My way of speaking English is a very simple so that I, I, uh, yeah, the, the, the English people will understand automatically because they are very expert. But I actually, my meaning is that the people who are in Sri Lanka, who are in other part of the world, in which uh, they are speaking other languages and English because international language they will be able to understand. So what you will do within 10 days, you will pay amount. And when you will pay amount, your pre-scheduled email will come. Now, if your payment was late after 10 days and you did not receive the uh, pre-scheduled email, the IMA will delay your application. In that time, what you need to do, you need to wait. There is no any problem. Your payment is not lost. Your payment is in the record of IMA and IMA has uh, actually your record and IMA is waiting. Whenever a specific place will come, they will send you pre schedule email. But the your line is over. Now previous people's line started and back line started backlog. When this backlog will clear current backlog, they will send you pre schedule email. That was little bit your mistake as well because you did not respond to them within 10 days. There is no need to worry. Just hold on and you will receive your pre-scheduled email very soon. Thank you very much.